The concept of sexiness is different in each era. To find out more about what's sexy in the 90s, we cruise down to the current citadel of sexiness, South Beach, Miami, where people of all ethnic persuasions and various generations interact in a fast, sunny, sex steeped environment. We wanted to find out if all the changes in sexual behavior over the past 40 years have actually resulted in more sexual enjoyment, and also what the different generations may have to teach each other. The sex scene here in Miami is incredible. Sex, 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 too much. It's a very open atmosphere here. A lot of experimenting. More nudity. People are topless down there. It's too much open. I think it's disgusting. Years ago, everything was so much in the closet, but today everything is so much in the open, and I go along with the times. We could never talk about sex when I was younger. See no evil, hear no evil, and speak no evil. In our day, sex was a closed door thing. Everything was behind closed doors, you know. What you do in the bedroom is not my business. I remember in my family, we always kind of danced around like the topic of sexuality. Ah, dinner time. This is the time for pleasant discussion. Don't discuss unpleasant topics. Nowadays, the 90s person isn't as apprehensive to talk about sex as, uh, as they had been. This is the tip. You want to make sure the tip goes up. It's better to make sex open. Especially because of the AIDS situation. Yeah. This day and age, you have to talk to the young people early and get them acclimated and acquainted with sex. Bob's mother is determined that her son should have a proper knowledge of sex from the beginning. I want to shoot. Baby. Kids, young adults are going to have sex anyway, so you might as well talk about it and discuss it so they make uh, educated choices. At least for this generation, it's more comfortable. People can speak about it. Girls voice their opinions. Guys voice their opinions on certain things that they wouldn't talk about before. I think it's, yeah, it's helped a lot. I think girls are getting probably better sex now than they did before, now that they can talk about it. Rule number four for Colleen is have sex on top of the washing machine. I think people are more open about sexuality today just because it's been in the media so much. The news stories uh, especially are, are getting more graphic. It's funny to, to sit down at the, you know, the, the 10 o'clock news and see Tom Brokaw say penis. Say penis. No. He referred to the size of his own penis as being larger than normal. They served a search warrant on me, which allowed them to view and photograph my body, including my penis. It was his penis from which she could not escape. Help cut your meat, Junior. I'm half man I used to be. The whole meaning of the penis like represents men and everything wrong with men and men being like obsessive and dominant and overbearing and just, you know, being being men. All my male friends have a name for their penis, which I'm very familiar with and we kid around about. Stuffy, smiley. Bowling pin. Stiffy. We have named them it. <laughs> and we say, how is it? <laughs> Fine. How was it? How was it? Terrific. Terrific. Yeah. Moa. <laughs> Talking about sex openly and being educated about sex is one thing, but displaying it is another. When you come on the beach and you see sometimes things what not supposed to see, is not nice. And I'm totally nude. Your daughter Joan, she's running around naked. And I'm totally naked. Right here in the water, with the girls with their bare tops and kissing in the water. I think that is really, oh, really Oh, watching those young sexy. people, it was just, just, just wonderful. I think more than adorable, it's adorable. So There's a lot of sexuality between a man and a woman that I think is nice, it's wonderful. But I think today it's also commercial. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now I just pour on that sexy look. Sex initially started out, you know, for procreation, whatever reason, and it's still trying to hold on to that sort of romantic love aspect of it, but it's it's so mass marketed now, it's it's like mundane. There's no mystique anymore. There's no romance anymore. Actually, I think romance has died out a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back then, I think a, a man used to look at a woman as more as a woman. Now they look at more like sex objects, and I yeah, think romance has died out a lot. Sexuality loses the lure, I think, when it's too fast. There's no mystery to it. It should be not kind of one, two, three, four, we do it. 
I think it's something we work into gradually. When I was a young girl and I went out with young men, I didn't have to put out. Now you're part of the sex scene and part of the 90s, or you're just left on the sidelines. I think it was a, a much more positive world in which we grew up. The older generation talks a lot of crap, but I think they're probably jealous because we're much more freer and happier. And we don't have that pressure for the hang-ups, you know, the old school convention, married person, the first person you sleep with and that kind of stuff. It sounds kind of sad to say that you only had one lover your whole life. Love and marriage. I've had interest in women, young women, even dated other women, and I've never had the thrill that I had for my wife. But in all the 46 years that we've known each other, it'll be 46 years. No, but you December, also she's get... She's never let me finish a sentence. Sexual mores change in decades. And now I think time has come where people want commitments. You know, they're sick of eternal dating. I think what the, what the younger generation uh, really needs to learn is uh, the idea of, of monogamy. It's, it's okay to be open sexually, but uh, to, to just be faithful to one person, I think that's, that's really important. Great sex is loving one another. Loving one another. That's the important thing. And I submit to you that at the end of this case, you will come to one conclusion, and that is that a life is more valuable than a penis.